Welcome again. In this video we're going to see how to load Swar Groove in Pro Tools as well as how to use the general MIDI tracks in some of the grooves with your own virtual instruments. The first step as usual is to check that the plugins are properly installed in the right directories. So in this case we're going to go in the hard drive, we go to library, application support, digidesign, plugins, and there we see the DPM plugins that are the RTAS format. This is used in Pro Tools 9 and 10. For Pro Tools 11, we use a different format of plugins, so we go back to application support, and there we go in Avid Audio, plugins, and there we find our Swar Groove and Swar Plug AAX plugins with the .aax plugin ending. On Windows, the locations are the following. For RTAS format, they are in Common Files, DigiDesign, DAE plugins. And for AAX format, they are in Common Files, Avid, Audio plugins. Alright, so back to Pro Tools. We're going to create a new instrument track. We select instrument track, stereo, and create. In here you will see uh, inserts A to E. If you don't see it, you can click on this little arrow and make sure this part is checked. So below that, the first box, you click and there you will see the multi-channel plugin, instrument, Swar Groove. There we have the user interface. We can click on open grooves. We see we have lots to choose from. We can go in Bangra, say, select this one. And then we can audition it. Alright, so we can close this. We can double click here and rename the track as Swar Groove. Now the next step will be to sync it with the host. So we just check the BPM, it's 90. And then we click on sync to host. In that way, we'll be in sync with, with Pro Tools. We must adjust the BPM to the same. So here, we instead of 120, we set it to 90. And then we can just play. Alright, so now we open again the user interface and then we see two additional tracks here, drums and bass. These are some general MIDI tracks that can be used along with your own virtual instruments. To do that, we close this interface, we go back to Track, New, and we'll create two new instrument tracks, stereo, for our virtual instruments. First one, we'll rename it as drums. Second one, we'll rename it as bass. Alright, so we click again on here, multi-channel plugin, instrument, and here we're going to select the addictive drums plugin. This is a very nice drum, drum kit plugin. Here it is. You can see it comes with different drum kits. So we'll just keep the selected one neutral, Fairfax neutral. Then we go to bass. We again open and this time we'll open contact. This is a standard sampler where you can load lots of different uh, samples. In this case we have a bass, very nice sounding bass. Okay, so back to Swar Groove. What we're going to do now is simply drag and drop the MIDI track onto Pro Tools. Do this with the first one, 
second one we align them at the beginning and then we can play them So this is how we can play these additional tracks by a simple drag and drop. But in Pro Tools 11 there's a much better way to achieve that, by directly using the MIDI output from Swar Groove. This is how we do that. First of all we'll close this here, we'll remove these two loops. And then we're going to again to track new, we're going to create two MIDI tracks. put two here then we have them here we'll rename them as uh, MIDI drums and MIDI bass right so now we can open the mixer window Just move this, this, and we can see our two new tracks there. We'll now need to assign the MIDI input and output for each of these two tracks. By default, the MIDI output is set to Swar Groove, which we need to change because we want Swar Groove to be the input instead. So we just set the output to none to avoid any cyclic processing issue. Alright, so when we click on the input button, we can see the different MIDI sources available. Pro Tools 11 automatically recognizes that Swar Groove can output MIDI. In this case, we select Swar Groove, and when we do so, we can see the list of channels appearing on the right. This is a great feature of Pro Tools 11, that you can decide which channel you want to route to which track. As we are dealing with drums, we'll select channel 10, then we'll set the MIDI output to Addictive Drums, also on channel 10. Now we'll do the same on the bass track. We'll select Swar Groove output to channel 1 this time. And we'll select the Contact plugin as output on channel 1. Now the last step will be to arm both the MIDI tracks for playback, for recording playback. So we click here and we keep shift pressed and click there as well. Then we can just play. Ooh, there's something wrong there. We don't hear the drums and the bass sounds weird. I have an idea what's wrong. Let's reopen the Swar Groove interface. Oops, wrong button. Here it is. So, what happened is that our cha default channels on Swar Groove are set to 1. So, in this case, we were sending the MIDI drums events to the bass track. We set now the channel to 10, then we can play again. That was better. So now that we have all this set up, we can open a new groove. See this one. Okay, we set the drums channel again to 10. Sync to host. And then play.
Okay, so this was a short explanation on how to load our plugins in Pro Tools and how to use the included general MIDI tracks with your own virtual instruments. If something wasn't clear or you have any additional questions, feel free to email us at support at Thanks for your attention and goodbye.